Welcome everyone to Charts Focus 1 where we teach how to work hard and trade smart. In this live stream recap video, I want to go over our swing trade that involved trading the ticker symbol TYD, which you guys can see on your screen here, a bullish 3 times leveraged ETF on the 10 year treasury bonds. Now we have been looking at bonds since the past few weeks as I've been tracking the yields and bond prices for quite some time throughout this entire fiscal year. And specifically two weeks ago, I provided a complicated strategy that involves trading in the bond market. Now a succinct summary of what this bond strategy does is that it accounts for the change in difference between yields. So if you guys want to read what that bond strategy was specifically and how to create and execute that strategy, make sure to take a look at that description box below for the first link, which will take you to the CFO Swinger Watch newsletter subscription page. Once you subscribe, you'll be able to read what this bond strategy is. Now, with that being said, I wanted to provide a more simpler trade that involved using bonds and being involved in the bond market. So for the past couple of weeks, I began to observe that bond prices have kind of stabilized uh, with the yields, which we use TNX to track the yields, uh, looking like it's about to top out, right? So this is TNX right here, right? And two days ago, I decided that we need to long some treasury bonds here. Now this is where I also came back to TLT, which is the 20 plus year treasury bond ETF. And the reason why I looked at this one is that, well, simply because TYD wasn't liquid enough and I couldn't get a lot of intraday data, right? Like the 15 minute or the five minute time frame. And on TradingView, when you don't have a lot of volume or a lot of liquidity, uh, the candlesticks don't just show up fully, right? They're not fully made candlesticks. So I had to kind of rely on TLT to see what was going on two days ago on the intraday for bonds. So obviously you can't translate what's exactly happening on TLT to TYD, right? Because there's, there's a lot of differences, okay? Um, but first, I kind of want to show you um, what I was looking for on TLT. So TLT, uh, if you take a look on the RSI here, right, we've basically uh, have been going down and down and down for the past uh, couple of months. And then uh, since the first half of this year as well, right? So we, we basically made a base between uh, the, the middle of this year and then we started heading back down again, right? But, but before that, we are, we're already going down. So uh, bond, the bond market has been having a pretty rough year. So, if you go on the weekly time frame as well, all right, we are very, very oversold, okay, and, and we are seeing levels that we haven't seen since 2014 to 2015, and I told myself this, okay, I said, okay, well, at some point, we need to start seeing another bounce like we saw in the middle of this year, right, when equity starts to bounce, and we had that summer rally, and with TLT looking very, very oversold, even more oversold than the previous uh, low pivot point that we had in mid-June, right? I said, there has to be a point where we start to bounce. And for the past couple of weeks, uh, as I was observing uh, bonds and bond yields, we saw this happen. And TLT just started to show some very good composure. And instead of selling off, we start to kind of stabilize, as I've said earlier. And two days ago, Okay, November 8th, right, on this candlestick, I said, all right, I think this is a good point uh, to kind of bet on the fact that the bond prices can start rising and uh, yields can start coming back down. And so I took a look at TNX, all right, and we're just holding here at the top, right, around 4.20. And the one thing that really uh, kicked this trade off for me was the RSI. So we are making higher highs and higher lows, but the RSI was showing a clear divergence, a lower high and lower low. So this is usually a very bearish 
hidden divergence on the RSI, the relative strength indicator. And they turn out to usually uh, work out really well. <laughs> so as you guys can see, right, on a day like today, when we had the market just absolutely ripping, which allowed bond prices to move up higher, uh, the yields just fell off the cliff here. And we started to go below four early in the morning. And then we just completely dropped all the way back down to that 3.80 area. And so this hidden divergence worked. Now, I look back at TYD, okay? And on November 8th, right, we're kind of basically just bouncing uh, around this $28 level. And after bouncing away from the lows of the previous day, which was around 27.50, uh, 27.51 uh, to be exact, I told myself, okay, if, if, if I can see the TLT, if I can see the 20 plus uh, treasury year, uh, treasury uh, bond uh, stabilizing here, then uh, I can also assume that this three times leveraged uh, ETF that tracks the 10 year treasury bond uh, can also stabilize and rise higher. So uh, November 8th, I sent this trade right here Okay, there's a, this a clear screenshot here um, of TYD $30 calls that expire on January 20th, 2023. So we have some very, very good time here, right? As the expiration is next year and a few months down the line. Um, and the reason why I chose 30 is that on the technical uh, chart here on the daily time frame. The daily 50 SMA uh, was about to catch up here, and I was betting that the price can eventually reach 30, which should also coincide with the retest of the 50 SMA. And guess what? We got that today, right? We got that in two days since entry. And I was not obviously expecting such a fast rise to my profit target and the strike price of my contract, but we did, and everything worked out so ideally and perfectly as the day uh, before today, uh, I mentioned to my CFS Swing Watch members that bonds were staying so stable, right? And I kept on mentioning that throughout the day. And uh, even if the overall equity markets were continued to go lower and hit new, the new low of the day, um, the bond markets were so stable. And this is the reason why I, I was still a bit bullish and if you take a look at my previous, most recently uploaded um, uh, live stream recap video, um, which is the UUUU and UVXY uh, video. So I, I think that's like two videos back here from uh, this video. But uh, I, I, get, I give a reason why that um, I want to see a bounce, right? And I also mentioned it in the most uh, recent video, uh, which was the... Uh, trade that we did for SPY puts yesterday. And I also gave you a reason why that I want to see a bounce. And uh, the bond market is essentially what uh, cemented my, my little bit of a bias to the bull side view and perspective as the bond prices just continue to be stable, right? They're, they're very, very stable. And they ended up on a high note while equity markets were down, right? So SPY here on the daily time frame yesterday right we just fully dropped back down and we basically erased more than half of the gains that we had going into the midterm elections so the bond market here was obviously a very very good thing to look at uh, right before the cpi data came in and it could have been uh in hindsight here a perfect uh indication that uh we could be getting a very positive reaction to uh, incoming inflation data, right? But obviously, uh, we couldn't have known for sure uh, since, I mean, for example, the Federal Reserve relies on incoming data as well, just like any retail uh, traders like us. So uh, it could have been 50-50, but uh, the bond market in hindsight was really telling us that uh, we could see a, a reversal in equity soon and a more stabilization in the bond prices. So Today, um, we're able to exit off of this swing, this two-day swing, as uh, I got in specifically on TYD. So 
I'll just go to the five minute time frame, even if you guys can't clearly see anything, <laughs> right? It's a very, very illiquid name. So TradingView does not give you guys uh, or give us full wide body candlesticks. Um, so at 10, 16 a.m., okay, on this screenshot, November 8th. So let's have a little tiny backtrack. Okay right over here okay so it's right before this candlestick but i decided to get in right underneath 28 dollars on tyd so that was a bit of an earlier entry but i want to kind of bet on the fact that this stabilization of bond prices will continue but i did not expect us to just absolutely rocket higher right we just rocketed higher and we continued to stay up high on the day today and we closed up high as well so uh, TYD was supposed to be just a slow movement to the upside as we continue to see bond prices stabilizing and bond yields falling. Um, but we had such a rapid movement to the upside, which allowed us to have an amazing gain in the past two days, including today. And uh, even though I said you can exit here as this sw swing is now up 70% per plus, I personally exited at 80%. And the same contracts actually ended up uh, closing nearly 90% um, since my entry. So, you know, obviously I did leave some on the table. However, I am looking to roll up onto some new contracts that still expire next year for TYD as I'm very much bullish on uh, bond prices here and I'm very bearish on bond yields. Now, why did I exit though, right? If I'm if I'm so bullish on bond prices, why did I exit, All right? So obviously these contracts ended up being at the money and in the money eventually. Uh, and you know, congratulations to all my CFS Ring Watch members who got it with me as well uh, two days ago. But why uh, why did I exit, right? Why did I exit? Why the hell did I exit if I could have just held those same contracts, right? So who knows? I might just get back in the same contracts again, All right? And here's the reason why. So whenever we retest the daily 50 SMA, the 50 SMA tends to be a huge, huge level of resistance. And there tends to be a lot of sellers that come with a retest on the 50 SMA. And guess what? There's this correlation between TYD and TNX that I'm seeing, the 50 SMA. So on TYD, we retested the 50 SMA as we start to not make a nice uptrend, right, to the upside. And on the TNX, we actually came back down and retested the daily 50 SMA on the downside. So I assessed my risks like this. I said, there is a good chance that tomorrow we might see a slight movement to the downside so that we can get an actual retest of the 50 SMA, which is around 3.799 right now. Or you guys can just round it up to 3.80. And we can have a nice bounce since, you know, Treasury... Yields have been on a run, on a tear for this entire year. And this is a huge uptrend. And I would expect to see still some buyers defending the daily 50 SMA on yields. And that's the way I see it, right? Even though that's not exactly how yields work here. But uh, just using technical analysis skills that I have, that's the way I'm making it make sense. So if I use that same logic onto bond prices, right? I'm going to expect TYD to also reject from the 50 SMA after making a little more of a jump tomorrow morning, okay, and actually retesting the 50 SMA at 30.30 ish. And once we do that, I wanna see a nice pullback to have a nice retest at 30, okay? And if we do bounce at 30 again, that's when I will uh, determine whether or not I want to roll up into new contracts or even use these at the money or it could be in the money, Okay, depending on where I enter, the same TYD 30 call strike contracts that expire on January 20th, 2023. Okay, so hopefully uh, you guys are able to use the same contracts um, and you guys are able to make your own trades here on TYD. Um, and hopefully uh, this analysis was very, was very, very helpful. Okay, and if you guys have any questions, since uh, the bond market can be very complicated, right? With the bond yields and, you know, you, you can see all these talking heads on CNBC talking about 
uh, you know, inverted uh, yields and, uh, and other things like, like the yield curve, right? So if you guys have any questions on that, please, please let me know. Ask me. I'm here for you guys to help you understand things and navigate your way through this uh, crazy, crazy market, especially in the bond market. And if you guys uh, are looking to trade TYD, and if you guys have actually found a contract, let me know in the comments below so that I can you know, give you guys some good feedback on whether or not that specific option contract for TYD is a good idea. All right. Okay, so that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys are able to get a nice swing trade on TYD or TLT. Uh, you guys can use either or. Um, and, uh, you know, if this analysis uh, it was really helpful in helping you at least understand uh, the relationship between bond yields and bond prices, make sure you guys hit that like button below. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. Welcome to the Charts Focus One community and family. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your stay here. All right, I'll catch you guys all on another video. Have a great rest of your night and thank you for listening.